Hey, okay, it's a UK review guy again today. Uh, this time doing a review on the Leatherman Juice S2. Um, this is my own, I've had it a uh, number of years now. Um, <coughs> it's got a few signs of wear on it and stuff like that, but other than that, it's a, a tool at the end of the day, so it's meant to get used. Um, yeah, it's a nice little tool. Um, there's a little bit of weight to it. Um, there's a, a fair few bits in it, so obviously you're going to have a little bit of weight to it. Obviously, it's um primary, uh, I suppose, use is the, the pliers. It's like a, a small Leatherman uh, multi-tool, so obviously that's the, the idea of it. Um, you've got the pliers. They do meet up really well at the end, um, so I suppose at a push, you could use them as, as tweezers for getting bits out of. Um, to be honest, I don't really use the pliers that much. Um, so I suppose it's uh, not the most ideal tool for me. I used to carry it quite a lot. I uh, tend not to carry it so much anymore because I don't tend to use the pliers and that's the, the biggest feature of the tool. Um, nine times out of ten I either like, need a knife, um, scissors or a screwdriver, which obviously these have as well, um, but not as the, the primary tool. Um, so that's the, uh, the pliers part of it. There is some cutters there and obviously a pair of grips there. Um, so you can get nuts and bolts and stuff. Don't know um, how tight you could get it because you do your hands are quite um, being quite short handles. You feel like you can't actually get that much pressure on it. Um, and also these bits here do sort of dig into your hands a little bit if you try to put a lot of force on it. Um, just where it's, it's thin on the edge there, that kind of gets underneath your uh, your skin as you're trying to grip it up, grab it. Up. Um, I suppose. Um, yeah, the cutters are alright, I've used them a few times on little bits of thin cable and stuff like that, but um, it's, uh, it's not perfect. It's, it'll get you out of trouble, but it's not, if you've got to do a few jobs, you're definitely worth getting the actual proper tools, or either an actual plier, um, sort of some long nose pliers or a pair of cutters, depending on obviously what you're doing. But for one job and it's in your pocket, it's worth doing, it's handy. Um, so I've had this quite a while, it doesn't seem to have got loads easier it does it's not a lot of effort to open and close it but you do have to you're definitely two-handed no chance you could do it one-handed um it's obviously like the new leatherman stuff um it's designed for the uh to be one-handed um which you can see the advantage of that definitely um also okay so on the uh on the inside of it you've got a little phillips driver on this side um they're good little phillips driver that is to be fair um it just you just get in with it. I mean, sometimes I even sort of close it up that way. I'll do it that way if you need a, a bit of extra length. Um, but on the whole, it's uh, it's a good little screwdriver for doing the uh, little bits and bobs. Um, especially like little kids' toys. Obviously nowadays they're all uh, batteries to get where the batteries are. You need a screwdriver to get to them. Um, this fits it nicely. So if you got it in your pocket and it is Christmas or whatever, and you've got loads of them kids' toys to look at, then uh, this is going to help you. Um, on this side, that's it on that side, um, on this side, the opposite side, you've got three, you do have to have to dig them out, um, like a tiny little screwdriver there, a uh, slightly wider one, and again, slightly, slightly wider again, it's like in the middle sort of thing, um, I think that there, you can see that is meant to be like a, a wire stripper or something like that, never used it, don't think I ever will. Don't reckon many people will, um, but I suppose officially it's there. Um, or I don't think it's just a nick, it might just be the nick. I know on the, the way that's a, a wire cutter, so ignore that bit. Right, um, there you go. And then on the outside of the tool, bottle opener here. Yeah, handy, works well, um, but so do a lot of bottle openers, keyring bottle openers or whatever. So. Yeah, it's a bottle opener. Never use it as a can opener, which you can do, I think. Um, but most of the cans in the UK, I suppose, have got them ring pull things on now anyway. So you don't need it. Um, but yeah, bottle opener is fine. Works as a bottle opener, I suppose. Nothing exciting about that. The good thing on this, and the real advantage is these scissors. Um, and they are good scissors. Um, I've got a piece of paper. I mean, I say this is a few years old now, and it's uh, as good as it was um, when I got it. Really, I've not had to touch it sharpening wise. Uh, 
blade or anything they just they just work the nice um positive feel with this this spring here it feels like you you can feel like you're actually cutting um feels good and you just feel like the well-made scissors um I've got a wave i've done a, a review on that and the scissors on this are far better than the one on the wave um for a small little multi-tool in your pocket these scissors are quite good They're better than like most of the little portable scissors you get which is sort of primarily the reason i got it and one of the main reasons i, I still use it still um also on obviously the bottle and then you've got on this side the, the main sort of i suppose thing is the pen knife side to it um doesn't lock um bit of a funny shape um depends on what you're using it for what you want to do with it um if you want to get in and just cut something that way or open a box or whatever it's fine um i imagine that blade shape would hamper it for some things but that's um you've got to go with that because of the i suppose that's all the space they've got for it to fit in um when i got this out of the box this was one of the sharpest knives i've ever had um never managed to recreate the sharpness um i got it got it at um it was absolutely brilliant not sure how, how sharp it is now i do try and keep on top of it uh, because there's no point in having a knife if it's not sharp um yeah so it's it's all right it's usable um nowhere near so nowhere near as good as it was when i first got it probably could do with a, a little tickle up at some point but um yeah it's it does what you need it to do it depends on what you're cutting with it i suppose um you just need to uh say keep on top of it finally it does wear quite quick i don't think it's the, the best steel i'm not sure which uh what steel they use on the blades on these whether it's the 420 or something like that um but it it sharpens easy enough anyway so it's not really a problem unless you're using something all day every day in which case you're probably not going to want a, a small knife advantage for the uk obviously it doesn't lock um so it's legal carry um which is which is good um yeah it's a nice little thing really overall it's still so even though i've had it a while it's still a bit a bit stiff and i do sort of look after it and blow it out a couple of disadvantages of but i think you're going to get that with no matter what you've got unless you keep it in like a leather pouch or something but you'll find down here um obviously especially in the middle um here all along here uh just get full of like pocket fluff and dust and, and crap and stuff like that um I found an airline the easiest way to get it out. Um, obviously, it's um, a tricky one, or you can get a, a cotton bud in there and, and sort of dig it out um, and try and get a bit of oil in or something to keep it all smooth. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I think for the money, the uh, they would be quite good really. Uh, just to size comparison wise, this is a um, iPhone charger uh, or USB charger, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can see it's. Um, obviously longer weight wise it's fair, fairly heavier um thickness wise it's probably actually um a little bit thinner than the, the plastic body um but so yeah it's not a bad size to have in your pocket to be honest it's not it's not the lightest thing you do know it's there because it is sort of sturdy but also i suppose that shows you it's, it feels like it's well made for the weight it feels like it feels right um i noticed this orange scale and stuff has cracked a bit on it um but i suppose that's just being thrown in your pocket with coins or whatever being rubbed about um i notice some people can have these bits engraved if you want i think some uh, retailers or whatever when you buy it will engrave them for you if you want as well which is a nice touch i suppose there is other models of this uh, where you can get different things instead of the scissors you get something else etc etc um but this one i think it's just got everything i wanted on it um but in hindsight as i say, i tend not to use the pliers so much so um i could easily get away with something that's got just the screwdriver the knife the scissors um and bottle opener if it's there great if not not too worried um yeah so on there it's a good little uh, good little tool and um, again it depends what you want it for what you're going to use it for all right uh, cheers for watching guys thanks